How big of a deal is that? The fact that she announced she's joining the Republican Party, Tom. Huge. Zero to ten, how big of a de deal is it? Play this clip, <clears throat> and then I want to get Tom's thoughts. And it is because of my love for our country, and specifically because of the leadership that President Trump has brought to transform the Republican Party and bring it back to the party of the people and the party of peace, that I'm proud to stand here with you today, President Trump, and announce that I'm joining the Republican Party. Wow. Wow. Look at the applause. Yes. Leaving the dark side. I'm joining the party of the people, the party of equality, the party that was founded to fight against See, and end slavery. And Let me tell you the, the, the difference. I can listen to yeah. her when she speaks oh, yeah. and the way she does it. She Great speaks point. like a freaking leader, leader, right? Yep. And then you go listen to Kamala. I grew up in a middle class family. <laughs> no, but what I was saying, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Yeah. I believe in the opportunity economy. Yeah, but I, what I'm trying to ask you is about the border. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. I grew up in LA when I was the, and then Tulsi gets on stage. Oh, bam. Oh, yeah. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Oh. The way she speaks, she speaks the way both Hillary and Kamala wish they could speak. I agree. She has the presence on stage that very few people have. Right. Now, by the way, I'm not even saying male, women, whatever. Any sex she, got has, she has that yep. it factor on stage. Tell us if you're watching this. You're awesome. Yes. Tom is awesome. <clears throat> this is a nine. And the only way um, that I could put it bigger, if she did it on June 1st, and then she was the VP candidate, then it's like a 10. But this is a nine for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's not a campaign stunt. It is a true you know, expression of the party that's doing this is the party of that is is my values, is what I'm about. This is the authenticity of her book coming out and saying, the party I grew up with, the party I represented, the party where I, I actually you know, was a, a elected you know, official. Nope. I'm here, and I think this is a nine because this shows women everywhere and people everywhere, particularly women, that it is safe to come out, and it is safe to say, by the way, it may not mean you don't get conflict. Your, 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 your family and your friends may still yell at you and have something to say about it and all this stuff. It may not be easy, but you can come out and you can say, this is the party of what I stand for, and this is where I'm going. I believe this is a nine, and I'll tell you, in, in in our household, we were we were, you know, really hoping that she would have a, a real position of, of prominence in the yeah. administration. And earlier this year, we were hoping that she that she potentially was going to be the VP candidate. Yeah, and and you, Pat, you always talked about the alliances. Tom, doesn't it feel good like like now now Tulsi? Okay, beside Trump as the leader, Tulsi. RFK is here. He has an Elon Musk. He has a Vivek Ramaswamy. This alliance is getting bigger and it's getting stronger. And I'm telling you right now, it's an exciting feeling finally. And you nailed it, Tom, about we had to hide. I said at the beginning of the podcast, I couldn't tell people, bro, I've lost friendships because in 2016 when I'm like, hey, guys, it looks like he's going to win and he loves the country. I've lost friends. I've fought people. I've, I've, I don't even talk to some of these people anymore because of that, that whole you know, uh, thing that the left did. And by the way, look at, look, at that. Just look at that photo, Tom. Check this out. Trump is getting support from substance. Exactly. And Kamala is getting endorsement from entertainers. By the way, you exactly. know who Good is point. coming out tomorrow in Houston with Kamala? Breaking news. Trick Daddy. Rumor has it Trick Daddy. that Beyonce... Oh, is showing yeah. up. This is Washington Post. Oh, like the last time that they Beyonce said she was showing up. Join Kamala Harris at Houston rally Friday. Yeah. The appearance ends months of suspense over whether the pop star would throw her support behind the Democratic. Can I ask you a nominee. question? What yeah. is her support? She's got. It's she has not followers. Move yeah, but hold on. If Taylor Swift didn't move the needle, this isn't. So, I'm, so, so, PB, would we be able to? To find out any movement, like once it comes yeah, out, yeah, when, yeah, okay, we'll be sure. able to find yeah. out. Seventy-two hours, you'll have. Okay, it. I don't think yeah. it's gonna do anything. People yeah. are done. People I, are finished. I, I also don't think so. I'm telling you, I asked the question the other day: who, who will, who will make some, you know, head wave with support? She's yeah. not the one. Like, you know, who would? Like, you gotta, you gotta. Man, I. 
Like who would John? That's a great question. Who but besides singer yeah, actor? Can I tell you something? Like yeah. let me put it to you this way. Here's like the only person that can. Um, and by the way, this is gonna sound weird. So just hang tight before you guys like lose your shit. I love it. I think it's over. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I think next two weeks there's gonna be October surprise. So minus the October surprise that's yeah. gonna come out. Well, who's gonna come out? Kara McDougal. Yeah. Who is Stormy? Another girl? No one cares. No right one now. cares. No. Yeah, who's going to come out? Another Eugene Carroll? Yeah. We're going to go shopping. And yeah. hey, what do you like? On me. Yeah. We're going to go. Yeah. What are you going to come out? The fact that Mar Lago is worth $18 million. Get the hell out of here. Who's going to come? So the only thing they can really do, honestly, is, and I almost don't want to say it. You but have I, to know. <laughs> no, I think it's if they get a Marla Maples, if they get a one of his kids. Because it's over. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying yeah. to you is, like, I'm, I'm honestly You're thinking, trying to think of the, yeah. Oprah doesn't matter. Beyonce doesn't matter. Barack Jay Z failed. Doesn't matter. Yes. Snoop doesn't matter. Brock is done. Yeah. He doesn't carry the weight he had anymore. Mansion to a small little sect. Maybe yeah. in Pittsburgh or Georgia, if you bring in the most respected pastor that goes, I don't even think, I think the only chance they got right now is a family member that's immediate and that's not going to happen because no. these guys are tight. Yeah. It's just it's it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm the point I'm trying to make to you is I don't think there is a person in the world that's going to influence that. I do think the next 2 weeks the October surprise is another assassination attempt. They're going to try to do something. It ain't over with yet. Of course with that not. At all. Of course not. This thing not. every day, <laughs> you know our our uh, group text that we're part every of the special Every time it turns one, on you're like something happened. The, but the point is, but I'm telling you that group text the next two weeks, look how much more activity it's going to have. Very good point. Right, Rob? Yep. Look how much more activity it's going to have. You're going to see, boom, 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 boom. boom. There's going to be days. It's going to be five, six stores. This is why. La, 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 that they're open to the idea yeah. of going back to Motel they're 6, in. Tom would say something like, throw the whole story off, and is going to say, did you guys hear about the new video game that came out that has this new feature that's got this? We're like, Tom, honestly? Yeah. And let me tell you what it talks about. So I'm gonna, yeah. You guys know premarital sex is really not and, good for yeah, you. <laughs> and by the way, I liked him. Uh, it, it reminds me of a story I don't want to tell. But anyways, <laughs> let me go back to it. Tom, this is where I was going to go. Yeah. Until you jumped in. You were singing. And you, I entertainment you were blocked. And the turn There's off. a different word for it. When we were 21 oh. years old, <laughs> entertainment what you blocker. Did, you, entertainment block. You're Everyone an entertainment knows you're blocker. You're supposed to guide it, oh. not block it. You I mean, know, it's you like the, the rooster blocker yes, is what we yeah. used to say, yes. but right now it's like the. <laughs> By the way, this is why I stopped bringing him to the club. Listen to me. I was so close, guys. I want to hear this. Tom, election night is going to be crazy. I'm telling you. Can't wait. That place is going to have two fighter jets, two helipads, two 40 by 100 freaking tents. Music, by the way, you know the song, uh, 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 Armin's song, the, the victory song? Yeah. He may open up. What? Wow. We may have national anthem. What? We may have some incredible entertainment. We're talking about the, all the people. And guess, guess more what? And, by the way, more and more people are just texting me saying, can I join? Can yeah, I join? Yeah, yeah. And by the way, these are like people... Whoever's in the, if you bought a super VIP ticket, you are wise because we can't sell them in or sold out, right? They're gone. The only VIP is that, but it's going to be fun because that night is either going to, either way, <sighs> it's going to be controversy, it's going to be craziness, it's going to be celebrate. Every one of the annoying emotions and exciting emotions uh -huh. that takes the temperature here. Is going to be on fire. I'm going to cry if Trump wins. However, will you? Though? I will cry if, if Trump will you, wins. Will, I will you have cry. a feeling inside your thigh, like the one that kind of comes up, like they? What did What did Chris Matthews say? What was the line that? He <laughs> I got this funny feeling. Funny I'm feeling coming, coming on my, my leg. leg. So Tom, yeah, go ahead. You yeah. were going to say something. No, I was going to say, what the, we were talking about dirty tricks. I was going to end on, on a serious point about about Kamala. I'm going to fact Is block you right she's now. She's yeah. not getting the support yeah. from the media that she had yeah, for those no. 28 days where she avoided interviews. She's getting mm. questions. So it's almost like the other side is not throwing in the towel, but they sure don't want to be on the full train right now. 
including Van Jones. So I think it's very interesting. What do you mean by that? Yeah. It says, I'd like what I mean what is means. take a look. They're all they're all hedging. All the, look at Dana Bash. Tom, we're trying to be serious. We're talking about running Dana trains Bash. out here. What are you doing? They're, they're hedging their bets. They're not, they are not 98% positive the way they were for from July 21st, mm. practically to September 1st. Can I tell you the craziest thing? And I think that's insane. Wouldn't they all be like 100%? By the way, check bonkers? this out, Tom. Tom, here's a question for you. You ready? So, who news just came out saying that these guys are not going to get a raise and they're all getting a pay cut? What news just came out, right? Oh, all of them. That everybody's yeah. getting a pay cut, like, right? Yes. Yeah. Guess what? ESPN. How do you get a pay raise? You get more advertisers by maybe being more balanced and get more viewers. More viewers. But 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 or the, Trump but, winning because they have to talk crap about somebody. That's what I'm saying. They want Trump if to win. If Trump wins, your eyeballs go higher the next four years. You're gonna get a raise because yeah. more money's being. They made. want Trump to win. But no, these guys are such like insane. What do you call them when people eat their own, you know, them? They, Cut they, your nose own. off to spite your face? I don't even know, man. Eat I mean, your own young? They're yeah, all there, there's, a, there's a part yeah. of it. There's a part of it that I think. Pat, question for you. Yes. Did you ever think you would make it? Uh, when would you ask, like, when I was how old? Did you, Did you ever think, think you would make it? it? Yeah, I know, but he's going yeah, he to, we'll see what we're going to do with that. I, know I, get, I just feel like I'm getting so close. I can taste. Right. Sweet I got you. Guys, I, don't know. I got you. The big game starts this Friday. The series starts this Friday. And here's what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I wanted to get a suite to take family and friends and to give you the chance to join me as well as us here, my family and other friends in the suite for game five <laughs> in New York, which is amazing, right? Yes. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And here's what we're going to be doing. By the way, just so you know, the details on what these things are going for right now, it's ridiculous, the tickets. But all I'm saying is we sat down, we decided, here's what I want to do. So what do we do about it? We created a sweepstake. And the winner gets the one ticket plus $2,500 cash for your flight room, whatever you need to be doing to wow. come join. By the way, it's going to be epic Wow! because it's going to be sick. It is game five. So, Ooh. you know, who knows what's going to be taking place. The streets of New York are going to be wild. And the way you participate in this is the following. For every $1 spent on VT Merch Store, today you get an entry. For every dollar spent, you get one entry. $100, 100 entries. $500, you buy five of these polo shirts. I freaking, this is all I'm, I'm wearing nowadays. Say it's $500, 500 entries. And you get to get up to 1,000 entries. Wow. We will draw one random this Saturday morning. October 26, and we will immediately notify the winner. Then next Tuesday on the podcast, we'll announce who it is. But the person that wins, we will reach out to you. Uh, I'm excited about that. A couple things I do want to tell you. It just so happens 15 new hats are here today. <laughs> mm. So the there's way, something to buy. This yeah. is the <laughs> sickest new Valuetainment green hat future looks bright that just came out. It's absolutely amazing, Valuetainment. We have these new for some folks that like this design. We have the I'll new American that flag. That sick. Adam, th yeah, this one. Yeah, this is absolutely this sick. This one looks amazing. We have 15 new designs, some for military, the red oh. and black. We have the new allegedly hats where the allegedly lifts. Sick. We have the red American flag, green USA flag. By, by the way, a bunch are on VT merch, and all you need to – by the way, th this is – these are, again, memories because the last time this happened was 1981. All you need to do is go purchase merch for every $1 raffle, gifts for yourself, for others. Some of you guys that are coming to the party anyways, November 5th, this could be your way of doing it as well. Wow. Uh, Tom, do you have anything else to say before if I missed anything? We have the legal stuff. Go for it. Tell <laughs> so, us. Tom Ellsworth impersonating Don Pardo. The PBD Podcast 2024 Baseball Sweepstakes. No purchase is necessary. It's sponsored by Value Team at LLC and open only to legal residents of the 50 U.S. states in the District of Columbia who are 18 years old and above. The entry deadline is tomorrow night, Friday, October 25th at 11.59 p.m. For the full entry and full rules, visit the link at vtmerch.com and available in the description for this episode of the podcast that is found on the PBD podcast channel on YouTube. Void where prohibited. Go get in. I love it. Okay, Rob, so let's put the link there to go to vtmerch.com. Uh, I hope 
I hope you participate. I want to spend some time with you. We're going to have a good time. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.